So some ingredients really stand the test of time and olive oil is definitely one of those. It's a great source of those healthy fats. So these fats are going to be incorporated into your immune cells to help them move around and do their job really well. And it's packed with polyphenols. So we talked last time about vitamin P, these plant compounds that are so important for our health. Um, and Exclusively using extra virgin olive oil as your main cooking oil is associated with better health, longevity, less risk of dying from pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, I can't speak high enough about it. Um, and if you use olive oil to cook, you can get double the amount of nutrients out of your plants. So no. tomatoes, carrots. Right. Roast them up. Tell us about the lymph glands. Yeah, so the lymphatic system is this whole system of vessels all over your, your body. It's like your blood vessel system. But whereas your heart pumps your blood around your body, the lymphatic vessels don't have that. They rely on you moving your muscles to squeeze this lymphatic fluid around. And what's in our lymphatic fluid? our white blood cells, our immune cells. They need to get around the body. They're performing like a surveillance function, looking out for germs, looking out for damage and repair. So if we're not moving our lymph, then we're not having this uh, amazing benefit from our immune system. And hydration is really important to make sure the lymph's nice and Is fluid. flushing it out yeah, and things like that? Yeah, and your that. lymph also carries away toxins. So every day, different bits of your body have sort of metabolic byproducts just from the day-to-day -day running of your body. Your lymph gathers that up, takes it to the liver um, so it can be removed from your body. So you want to be moving that lymph as much as possible. Break up sedentary time, get on your feet, I don't know, do some dancing in your kitchen, skipping, break up the time that you're sitting. 